Alright, hey everybody, Mayo here, and today we're going to be playing some Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle Donkey Kong Adventure DLC. Rabbid Kong found a tiny garden snake while planting some hydrogen. The artist blew it out of proportion to stroke his ego. Words I uh, can't say right now. But uh, anyway, as I was saying... We are playing the Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle Donkey Kong Adventure DLC, and unfortunately, I did not get my audio recorded, so we're going to be doing some post-commentary here as I'm playing through this, or as I am re-watching this, I guess, and trying to remember like everything that happened. There's that puzzle piece down there. Uh, go down. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, the bananas that I forgot to pick up, of course. And if I remember, this one was a bit difficult. I think it took me a couple of tries. I think I had, I've been having some trouble with the puzzles also in the dungeon level. They've been kind of, kind of difficult for me for some reason. Even though I was doing really well on the puzzles of the Donkey Kong Adventure DLC previously, in all the other worlds and felt like, you know, it's it seemed easier than just Mario Rabbids, like this, the base game. But, uh, obviously I get a little confused on where I'm going right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Rewatching me play this and trying to add post commentary is going to be, is a bit different. A bit weird. I don't usually do that. I've had to do it a couple times in the past before. But I, I'm going to have to go back to, you know, double checking. Uh, this poor fellow is besieged by telemarketers demanding that he invest in banana futures. Rabbit Kong's banana hoarding caused a lot of volatility in the market. If I were rabid, I'd take the short position. I'm sure my brother Kahoob would get a kick out of that joke. At least I think he would. Maybe not. Okay, and we got to a puzzle. Um, This one, I don't think was too difficult for me to figure out. I think I struggled a little bit with it. But I don't think it was that difficult. Let's let's find out. How long is this going to take me to do this? Am I going to have to skip through anything? What do I do here? I, I, I'm obviously confused, even though it wasn't that confusing looking back at it. Oh my goodness, okay. I, I was in such a, a good position, I thought. Alright, so what I'd want to do here is I'd want to push that one up. Oh, I must have messed up, right? Because I wanted to push that one up, and then I wanted to push that one over. Yep. Okay, at least I... I figured it out fairly quick. <laughs> oh, what I I think I may have messed up here. What what am I doing? I I Oh no. What am I doing? I, I'm obviously confused here, and my brain, like, farted or something, because I, I felt like I knew exactly what to do, really watching, and... <laughs> but maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> I obviously need to get that one on to the blue one first. And then once I get that on the blue one, then it'll let me go hit the red button, which will drop the other red brick down and have another one pop up, which then will let me uh, try to get to the yellow button. What am I doing? What like? Why was this so difficult for me? How long did it take me to figure this one out? 
I mean, I understand that, you know, the puzzles can be pretty difficult. And they can take a while to figure out. And I guess I, I did figure it out before, so that's probably why I thought thought I saw like exactly what to do. And then it just didn't do it. Because, you know, if I've done it before, it should be easier to figure out. Am I gonna am I gonna figure this out? Let's see if I do. <laughs> Any minute now, I'm sure I'll fig have this one figured out. Oh my goodness. I could have maybe edited this a little bit better to have this figured out. <laughs> I th I didn't realize that this one took me so long. I thought I figured this one out pretty quick. Okay, now I just need to shoot it across. There we go. All right. Now, how difficult was this one for me to figure out? Because now I can move, like, that off the... I don't need that. What on the... Excuse me. I don't need the other block on the blue one. Let's see if I can figure this out fairly... Let's see how much longer this one took me to get this second part done. Hmm, it looks like it's going to confuse me for a bit. That's okay, though. Do I, do I get this figured out? Maybe not. I don't remember. I don't remember how long it took me to figure this out. And then I push that over there, and then I push it down, most likely. But that's still not going to be good enough. Right? Because, yeah. Okay, what am I trying to do here now? Oh, I remember. I didn't know exactly what I needed to do, but I remember what I needed to do, I think. Looking back at this. I think I need them both on the same side as the red brick so that I can push one down. I think that's what I ended up doing. Not on this side, but of the other side. Okay, that's... An... <laughs> I think I just moved it back into the same spot. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure the other puzzle that stumped me a bit, I think I edited that one and condensed it down. And I obviously should have done that with this one too. To try to, you know, figure out what I was supposed to be doing. Okay, it's really obvious what I need to do looking back at this now. Like... At least I think it is. Yeah, I think I want to. Oh, but I probably pushed it in some weird spot now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, I. I'm obviously struggling so so much with this puzzle. I cannot believe how much I struggled with this. Okay, I, I'm probably figuring out that I need to because I was standing right next to the side that I need to get them both the those blocks both on. So I'm going to assume that I figured it out. Okay, so I need to push it. Oh no, no. Come on, I can figure it out. 
I, I know what I need to do. I need to get it over on... Oh, no, no, I need to stop doing that, because I want to push... No, I need it over there where, like, the blue... Yeah, yeah, that way. There we go. And then I want to push it down and then over. Come on, did I figure it out? Okay, I think I did. <laughs> I can't believe the struggle I had re-watching this to figure it like oh my goodness Jungle Jabber you found a new soundtrack check it out at the museum uh, I still haven't really checked out anything yet in the museum on this game so we'll, uh, we'll see what happens okay I see that that's the next world but then I notice this over here I believe it takes me to the other puzzle. It takes me to a puzzle piece. Oh, maybe the other puzzle where I edited was the uh, the uh, mission before this one. No, no, it was right here. Okay, yeah. I, I knew I thought it was this one. So I, yeah. So I edited this one a little bit in the uh, the video editing, even though the audio unfortunately didn't save. So you guys don't get to hear my initial confusion and raging, I guess, of how confused I was on how to do everything. Uh, this wasn't too difficult. Like obviously, I need to get the blue button over there. We just walk over there, push the blue button, gets those up. And as you can see, the other side also has a ramp that you can walk up. I didn't notice that, which really messed me up for a bit, considering I didn't notice it. Um, That was a mistake, obviously. Oh, no, no, I think it was a good, right? No, no, it was a mistake, because I want the green one over there, right? Yeah. Oh, I messed that up. And I already hit the blue button, so I want to... Come on, I can do it. I like that. Oh, but didn't I already hit the, the green? Yeah, see? I keep messing up. I need to move the blue bu button on that spot. It's fine. How it is, just push that off. Can I do well I figured this out? Then I need to push the green one down. Oh nope. Okay, yeah, push it down that way. Then push the green one. Okay. Yep, there we go. Right? Because I need to press the no, I messed up. I just messed it up. I, oh my god, I don't need the green one. I need, <laughs> there we go. Yep. No, I must have accidentally did that because I think I figured it out. Rewatching this, push that right over there. Yep, there you go. I can do it. I'm a genius. Oh my god. <laughs> I definitely don't feel like a genius rewatching this. And then I got so confused right here because I didn't notice the ramp on the other side. So that was a, a an edit cut. I pushed both um, things over there. I had to cut that real quick because it took me forever. Like it honestly took such a long time for me to figure out that there was a ramp over there. It, it was ridiculous. And then obviously I get a little confused right here. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Because that's just, you know, that's just normal at this point that I don't know what I'm doing. It's a little frustrating, but hey, what are you going to do? Um, How long does this take me to figure out? Because I need the green one over there not the blue one like I already have I 
Let's see. Do, do I figure this out? I, I don't think I do for a bit. I seem a bit... Con am I confused? Do I know what I'm doing? Oh, I okay. I think I figured it out. All right, cool. I must have got a little confused, but then figured it out pretty quick on that one. And then I need to... Yep. I must have cut out, done another cut, because I got confused on what I was supposed to do. Which, it's very obvious that I just need to go push one of those two bricks through that area. But I definitely got confused on what I was supposed to do. Yeah, and I must have not realized how to do it. E or I knew what to do and I just couldn't figure it out for a while. I don't remember. I remember this puzzle. I was so flustered and confused. But there we go. Finally finished that. Jump Rabbits Jump, you found a new artwork. Check it out at the museum. So we finished up that. And I was making sure there was no other puzzles or puzzle pieces that I may have missed. Um, I feel like I'm missing a few or accidentally passed a couple. Because we have 14 out of 20 and I feel like I'm almost done. So I'll probably go back and figure that out. But then we finally get to go to this mission over here. And I must have had to go AFK or something for a little bit. I don't know what I was doing. Maybe I went to go get a drink of water. Or, or maybe I got up to make sure the recording was going well and for some reason forgot to check the, uh, the audio section. Very well could have been that. <laughs> Alright, so this was a defeat all. Um, This one, actually, I think I did really well. I don't think I... Wait a second now. There are three idols, a fiery one, two, no fair. Once again, we must take care of all enemies on the battlefield. Then the invulnerable idols will let us go. All right, so I go with attack the camp, check these out, see what, how much stuff there is, because uh, that's you know generally what I always do. Uh, you may not see me use the attack the camp all the time because I check it the first mission, and if I don't get a perfect the first mission, I usually try to do a retry until I get that perfect. Because I uh, I don't know I just really want to try to get a perfect on all the uh, the battle missions for you guys and for myself. Um, I'm looking through these, seeing if there's any anything I want to get, any points. I think I get that one, because I think I see that there's jumps in this mission. Yeah, I, I checked to make sure there's jumps in this mission. And I felt like the movement would be really useful, because movement seems really good in this game. Um, I'm checking, I think, to see if there's pipes. Before going back to the battle HQ, uh, I noticed there's a couple of pipes. So I think I end up picking up the uh, the pipe, exit pipe movement on Rabid Peach. Extra pipe range. Or I, yeah, I'm debating if I want to take that or not, or if I want to save the point for something else. Or the team jump. And I do decide to go with the uh, the pipes. And then on Rabid Cranky, I really like the Grump Jump ability. And, you know, his team jump. But I end up usually just, like, throwing him a lot with Donkey Kong for that. But I'm going to go with the team jump instead. I think that that would be more, use, like, universally useful than the pipes. So that's why I did that. And then with Donkey Kong, I think I picked this guy up. And then I want to throw him. Yeah, I leap over, I think. Right? And I want to get as close to as many of them as possible so that I can do a magnetic groove. We do that, we have that extra movement from the swing that we got, the ability, or the technique, whatever you want to call it. And then I see this, this looks really solid too, but I think that magnetic groove 
gets way more. And I thought about moving Rabid Cranky and then doing like a uh, a uh, Stink Eye with the Magnetic Groove, but I keep accidentally like shooting myself when I do that, so. So I, I advised myself against doing that on this one. And we knock out like four or five guys on the first turn, which is really good for, uh, looks like three actually, if I look in the top right. Maybe one of them didn't get knocked out, but I thought we knocked out quite a bit. I then move Rabid Peach over here after getting, I think, one or two dash attacks off on somebody. Um, I think I'm trying to see how many dash attacks I can get on on people. And I think I can only get one off on that guy. And then I want to move over here, and I think I end up blasting somebody. That one right there, I think. Or no, I send that, maybe. Because I think that just does more damage overall. Yeah, because it also breaks those boxes. At least one of them. Oh, looks like both of them, which will do some extra damage. Then I believe I shield up. So I'm actually doing really well on this one. And then with... Uh, trying to decide like how I want to use this. And then I realize, oh, I can get a dash attack off on this guy, which will knock him out. And then... I can move through this pipe. Go right here. And then I believe I blast the guy and then maybe set up a stink eye. And we, I think I check, yeah. And then I realize, oh, that hits me too. And I believe, yep, I do that. We get a critical on him, pretty solid. I do go with the stink eye like I thought, because why not? The idols can move. That one's going to hit Donkey Kong, but I'm not too worried about that because he's at full HP. Gets on fire a little bit. Um, I don't think that that actually gets in oh, excuse me. Yeah, it doesn't get in range of us, but I think it does knock out that guy, right? And then this one's not going to get in range of us either. Um, I think it hits that guy too. Yep, it does. Then it's the enemy turn, but that doesn't really matter too much. He shields up, he goes somewhere, tries to blast us, probably hits us. Yeah, critical bounce and out of bounds, a little, quite a bit of damage. Um, let's see, I decide to grab these bananas and then probably just move right there. And then that hits everything. I check that. I think, oh, okay, that's pretty solid. I could do that. But then I want to see, like, how much damage I can do with the others. I decide to go with a dash attack. And then go over there. And then I think I blast him. Yeah, I just blast him to knock him out. Because I wasn't sure if the blaster or the uh, rabid crankies little mortar thing would be good. There we go. And then we clear the battle there. And that was my first attempt on that one too, I believe. Yep, and we get that perfect two out of two turns. So that's pretty much, you know, all that happened. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all that good stuff. And goodbye, friends.